Hello everyone, my name is Andres Canchero. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina. I'm doing my master's at UT Austin at the Aerospace Department. I'm working with Dr. Charles Tini in his research group. Our project is funded by NASA. We test scale models of the next uh, space launch system rocket nozzles and the previous space shuttle system nozzles. Our goal is to prevent the large fiberacoustic loads that are generated during the ignition process. These large fiberacoustic loads can act in the structure and can propagate upstream to the payload and even the, the crew, and it can uh, damage the structure or even cause the failure and harm the crew. This is our anechoic chamber and open jet facility at Pickle Research Campus. What you can see there is a, a scale model of the cluster of rocket nozzles that will go in the space launch system. We count with a high pressure back system and that allows us to test the required nozzle pressure ratios that we need in order to compare later with full-scale data and extrapolate to the real test engine. In this opportunity, you are seeing a retrospective shadow graph technique applied for the first time to this kind of rocket nozzles. The idea is to visualize the flow as we can see the density gradients that are coming out from the nozzles. And we can link then these visualizations with the data acquired with microphones or with pressure transducers and understand the flow that is coming out from the nozzle. During the startup process, these kind of nozzles undergo different flow states. These kind of nozzles are optimized for high altitude, but when they ignite at sea level, they undergo unsteady phenomena that are acting on the structure, very dynamic process. So you can see different flow states and the most important acoustic event during the startup is one called end effect regime, which is the loudest event during the startup. You can see the acoustic waves propagating upstream also to the basic chill of the vehicle. Our goal is to understand better all these unsteady acoustic events. By understanding all these unsteady phenomena, we can then mitigate the acoustic loads and design safer vehicles for the crew and prevent failure in the future. Be sure to check out the website for more information about research in acoustics at the University of Texas at Austin. Thanks for watching.